I'm Ronnie Archer Morgan. I'm lucky enough to have had a varied and successful career, first as a hairdresser and now as an antiques specialist. I mean, look at that, and that is a fantastic object. Life's good now, but my childhood in London wasn't as rosy. My mother wasn't well, and the physical and psychological abuse I received as a result still affects me today. But here, in Eastbourne, I discovered what it was like to be part of a loving family. I'm here at the house that I was fostered at. This is where I was safe. I never wanted to leave it. This was the home of the Hode family. They took me in and changed my life. Today, I'm visiting my three foster sisters, and it's been a while. Ronnie! Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Oh, Ronnie, so how are you doing? I haven't seen you for about eight years. Eight years? Yeah, I think so. Shall I buy us a drink, or shall we buy you a coffee? That lovely smile. From the moment I met Christine, Jackie, and Lynette, I felt I'd arrived home. I don't remember which one of you I met first, but I must have been about six. You came down and you didn't want to go back. <laughs> That's right, I never wanted to go back. And we, he was so gorgeous. He was a cute little boy, <laughs> lovely smile. I had the best times with my foster family, and at the helm was Molly, who I called Mummy Hode. Without her love, I don't think I'd be here today. You don't appreciate your parents when you're younger because they're there. She was an extraordinary woman. And then I came along when she already had six children. Yes. It was the first time when I came to you that I would be asked what I would like for dinner or for, or for pudding. Yeah. And that's what made me feel valued. You know, the truth is I've always carried you all in my heart ever since the first day I met you. I think it's the values that I learnt from coming down to Eastbourne. Mm. that's made me what I am now, really, truly. The Hodes fostered me on an unofficial basis, and they saved me from a life that was very difficult. Nowadays, fostering is a more formal process. Nearly 100,000 children are currently in care in the UK, and the need for foster families has never been so great. Karen and Neil Goodman from St Leonard's fostered Leah sometime after her mother went to prison. I was actually born in Hastings. I lived with my birth parents and I had a sister, Lucy, and a brother, Harley. And, you had? Um, yes. Um, one day, I think it became a bit too difficult for my mum and uh, she killed my brother and sister. Yeah. Yeah, and obviously it was... How old were you? I was three. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean... It was difficult all those years. Having Karen and Neil as foster parents changed everything for Leah. But they've made it easier. That's exactly <laughs> it. Really, really, they really have. And, and when you experience that sort of thing, you feel that you have no value. But being fostered by a loving family has taught Leah that life can be good. We're the lucky ones, you and I. Yeah. <laughs> we are. Yeah. Definitely I feel, feel it now. I feel so connected with you. It's always been, OK, that's happened. How do we deal with it? Let's move yeah. on. Yeah. You know, she's always, always engaged, always wanting to do things. You give that to her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You definitely and, do. You know, I can't help but love you all. The thing is, you don't, honestly, don't feel that you're doing anything special. I think that what you see is, is an amazing person. Mm -hmm. I think she's, she's I can so... See it. I can feel it. Yeah, she's just mm. so positive. She hasn't let her past define her. It's been a journey, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. But like, do you know what? It was so worth it yeah. for what we have now. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I'm in awe of incredible foster parents like Karen and Neil and Mummy Ho, who give love and care to the children who need it the most. Ah, thanks, Ronnie. For details of organisations which offer advice and support with adoption and fostering, go to bbc.co.uk slash actionline. And thanks to bo both Leah and, as I said, Ronnie as yeah. well for speaking so openly about their experiences. Yeah, it's brilliant. Uh, and Ronnie's written memoir uh, full of stories from his incredible life called Would It Surprise You to Know? And that is out now also. Indeed. Right.